Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here with Abel Cine, and today I am outside in the Pacific Northwest, and it is appropriately raining a little bit here, and I'm going to talk to you about two high-speed zoom lenses from Sigma, the 18 to 35 and the 50 to 100 T 2.0 lenses. Now these are high-speed zooms that borrow their lineage from Sigma's art lenses. These lenses come in at under $4,000 US. They are available in EF mount, which I have here, E mount, and also now PL mount. And what's really nice about these lenses is not only that image quality that you might expect if you've used art lenses in the past, and the fact that they are also quite fast in terms of their speed, but also these lenses now, because they are in cine housings, they have all metal construction. They are water resistant, good thing, because it's starting to rain here. They are dust resistant, and the gears are in the same place, which is very, very important when you're using cine lenses in production. Standard 0.8 pitch, and we have basically our T-stop or aperture ring here, we have our focal length ring here, and we have our focus ring there. And the focus ring on both of the lenses is 180 degrees, so a nice long travel path. Of course, hard stops. Now these lenses are going to tend to be used as variable prime lenses. So that 18 to 35, 50 to 100 range is a really nice range, unless, for instance, you need to go to a 40 millimeter focal length for something. And for some people, that is a favorite focal length. So some other commonalities between the two lenses, we have a 95 millimeter diameter for the front of both of the lenses. There is an 82 millimeter thread for the two lenses. So of course, it's very easy to find filters for those. You do have to be aware of the fact that the 50 to 100 is a longer lens. And even though it's an internal focusing mechanism, if you are in fact using a map box system, you will need to make that adjustment. If you're using a FIS setup, focus, iris, zoom, you won't need to to change anything in terms of your motors and your gearing there, but you will have to compensate for the fact that the lens length itself is different between the two. Out of focus characteristics, very, very nice with these lenses. I would say that they sit more neutral to warm uh, instead of cooler in terms of the way that they look. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. A lot of people are drawn to that with their lenses. And I would say that the other thing is that we need to talk a little bit about focus breathing. The 18 to 35 has minimal breathing, as you can see here. And this is both at the 18 and also at the 35 millimeter focal lengths. And so when you move from the 18 to 35 to the 50 to 100, the breathing is definitely more apparent, as you can see here. And I have a few shots at different focal lengths. We shot this at a 50, and then I also shot it in 85, and also at a 100 millimeter focal length. And of course, you can see there that the breathing, again, is more apparent. And if you're using the 18 to 35 and the 50 to 100 as variable primes and you need to get a little bit longer in terms of your reach or you need to go a little bit wider, you can do that by going into their cine primes. Over here, I have the 14 millimeter cine prime. And I should note that for all of these lenses, markings on both sides of the lenses, so that's great for ACs, whether they're camera left or camera right. Um, 14 millimeter, also a T2.0. And then we also have here on the longer end, a 135 T 2.0. So we have a lot of options here with the Sigma lenses. It's not like a couple of years ago where you were finding one lens here, another lens and another focal length. We've really seen them as a company come out with a full range now of cine primes and cine zooms. I really like this 18 to 35. I think the 50 to 100 also has a really nice image. Just be aware of the breathing characteristics. And there you have it, 18 to 35, 50 to 100 high-speed zooms from Sigma. Thanks for watching.